Welcome. Today I'm going to talk to you about using the Move Client Utility. This allows you to move multiple clients at a time from one group to another within the Symantec Endpoint Protection Manager. This tool is found in the Tools download available on File Connect. The Move Client Utility has multiple features other than moving clients. Clients can be changed between user mode and computer mode, or even move clients to a new domain. Let's get started on how to leverage the Move Client Utility to move several clients from one group to another. First, we need to configure the utility. Open the moveclient.vbs file with your favorite text editor. Ensure that the required credentials are entered into the shown fields. DB user should correspond to the SQL user account used by your SEPM to interact with its database. DB pass should correspond to the password for the above SQL user. Temp group name should correspond to the SEPM's default group. This will almost always be default group. Once the above parameters have been set, save your changes. Upon extracting the Move Client Utility, you may have noticed that there are a number of sample text files. These are what dictate which clients are to be moved and the manner in which the tool will do so. For today's example, we'll be covering how to move clients by IP address. Let's take a look at the sample-ipgroups.txt file. Notice how every line starts with an IP address. This is the first parameter required. The second parameter will be comma delimited from the first and will dictate the group or even subgroup to which you would like to move the client to. Please note that only one IP address is allowed per line. So let's talk about a convenient way that we can export a list of client IP addresses and groups from the SEPM. Let's log into our SEPM. Once we're logged in, head on over to Monitors and then Logs. We're going to want to create a computer status log type. Let's click View Log. After running the log, notice in the upper left-hand corner we have an Export button. Click that and save the CSV to someplace convenient. I'm going to save it to my desktop. Now we can open up the log in Excel and start to get an idea of what data we have to work with. Based on which clients that need to get moved, we can use Excel to filter by whatever columns suit our needs. When only the clients that need to be moved are shown on the screen, we can begin cutting this log down to size so we only get the two fields that we need. For this example, we know that we need IP addresses and group names. So if I scroll to the right until we find IP addresses, we can cut out the rest. So everything before this, I can remove. And then we need to find group name, because that's what we want to filter by. So if I take everything before this, up to the IP address and delete and we can get rid of anything that's left over. Now we're down to two columns of IP address and group name. From this point let's clean up our headers as we won't need any of this in our text file. So here's a group of all of the IP addresses that are in the SEPM and the groups that they're in. Now let's say I only want IP addresses 192.168.2.100, 102, and 104 to be moved. I can simply clean these up and we can see that I've got these three clients all set in the default group. 
However, I would like to move them. I'd like to move them from the default group to my site one group. So if I come in here and just edit it to site one, I could then copy this out, select the rest of my fields, and paste. Now I've got two columns, one with the IPs that I want to move, with the second column dictating where they're going to get moved to. Let's save this as a CSV. Be sure to choose CSV comma delimited. The name of the file to be used by the move client utility is important. If you recall from earlier, the samples which are provided are named in the following manner. Sample-ipgroups.txt. We need to save our CSV to ipgroups.csv. If it prompts for this, please say yes. Once saved, we can go ahead and rename the file extension from CSV to dot text. Click yes. You might be asking, why didn't we do this in the first place when we were saving it from Excel? The reason for renaming the extension after is to ensure that the comma delimited format persists to the text file. We can now open this and take a look at it. Now you can see that we've got all our lines, one IP address, comma delimited, and the group name we want to change them to, just as what was shown in the examples. Let's copy our text file to the same folder we exported the move client utility to. Now, if we run the move client.vbs file, it should move these. First, let's come back to our SEPM, take a look at our clients tab, confirm that one, we have clients with the IP addresses that we moved or that we set in the default group, and that we'd like to move them to this to site one. I'll now run move client VBS. The script will complete and alert you so. It'll also state that it's written a move clients.log. This can be reviewed to see if any errors were encountered. It'll also tell you which clients were moved. If we come back to the setup and you notice that our clients are still here, you may find that you'll need to click refresh for the screen to take place. And now we can see that in site one, our clients that were previously in the default group are now there. Thank you for joining me today. Have a great rest of your day.